to order. We're now holding a meeting of the Smithville FFA chapter. Mr. Vice President, all officers at the stations. I shall call the roll of officers to turn to their station to report back to you, Mr. President. The Sentinel. Station by the door. Your duty, sir. To this door, Pat, I heard that uh, it is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends all times, and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting and the paraphernalia. I strive to keep the room comfortable and assist the President in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform the people in order that every man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico, from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Station at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I give you a record of receipts and disbursements just as Washington kept his farm accounts carefully and accurately. I prepare a stiff among the members and strive to build up our financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary, stationed by the ear of corn. Your duties there. Keep an accurate record of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and FFA members meet. The student advisor, here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being elected by the rest of you, I am asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and right community wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is a symbol of labor and tillage of the soil. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the president, pres the absence of our president, president whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is a token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. Mr. President, all officers are at their stations. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The Secretary will call the roll of members. There are eight members and multiple guests present, Mr. President. Thank you. FFA members, why are we here? To practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. May we accomplish our purposes, I now declare this meeting of the Smithville FFA chapter duly open for transaction of business or attention to any to any matter which may now probably be presented. Due to the nature of this contest, our agenda for today is opening ceremonies, old business, new business, and closing ceremonies. Is there any old business? Mr. Chairman, Lago. I move to take from the table that our chapter hosts a sausage and pancake be breakfast for the school faculty and staff during National FFA Week. Second. It has been moved by Milagro and seconded by Sean that we take from the table that our chapter hosts a sausage and pancake breakfast for the school faculty and staff during National FFA Week. May I remind you this is not amendable, not debatable, and requires majority vote. 
Uh, we will now proceed to vote. All in favor of taking this motion from the table, please say aye. 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 All opposed, please say nay. Aye. The motion passes. We, have, we now have discussion over this motion. Is there any discussion? Mr. Chairman. Elagro. This would be great for our chapter because it would show our faculty and staff that what we do in the FFA isn't just about fun. Mr. Mr. Chairman. John. In the FFA motto, it says living to serve. So having hosting this uh, faculty breakfast will show them that we are about serving and doing stuff for others. Mr. Chairman, Michael, uh, we should do this because now that our fruit sale is doing so well, we afford to be able to buy these pancakes and sausage and things to do for our staff and faculty. Mr. Chairman, Chris, being the Canadian of this group, I can bring the maple syrup for this uh, sausage and pancake breakfast, and it would just show how much we appreciate our faculty and staff. Any more discussion? Here now we're going to have to vote. All in favor that we host a, uh, a sausage and pancake breakfast for the school faculty and staff during National FFA, we say aye. 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 All opposed, we say nay. Nay. Motion passes. Is there any more old business? Here now we will now proceed to new business. Is there any new business? Mr. Chairman. Chris. I'm with the Art Chapter 10 the Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. Second. It has been moved by Chris and seconded by Sean that our Chapter 10 the Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. May I remind you, this is amendable. Debatable and requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion over this motion? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Chris. This would be a great experience for me. For I have never been to a machinery show in my life, and I would really like to go to one. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Michael. Um, I've been to one of these shows, and um, my grandpa actually got ran over by some of the machinery. I don't think we should do this. Mr. 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 Chairman. Chairman. Yeah. I believe that this would be a good idea because this would show some of the kids that want to go into an ag career some of the stuff that they'd be working with. Just for a minute. Jerry. Going to this show in Kentucky would show the Tech Empower kids more things about the machinery that they're dealing with. Mr. Chairman. Chris. Um. Is there any more discussion? Mr. Chairman. Got it. Or as to a question of privilege. Just state your question. It's hot in here, man. I'm sitting by FFA jacket. No, you may no you may not. This is an official FFA contest. Your privilege is denied. Is there any more discussion over this? Mr. Chair. Chris. This would uh, be a great uh, bonding experience and opportunity for me to bond with a lot of other FFA members. And I would really like this opportunity. Mr. Chairman, Sean. since this would be a very good day, be an ag related comment. Is there any more discussion? Hearing none, we now proceed to vote. All in favor that our chapter attend the Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion passes. Is there any new, more new business? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Carrie. I move that our chapter sponsors a Thanksgiving dinner for all FFA and FFA alumni members. Second. It has been moved by Carrie and seconded by Sean that our chapter sponsors a Thanksgiving dinner for all FFA and FFA alumni members. May I remind you this is amendable, debatable, and requires a majority vote. Is there any discussion over this? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Carrie. Having a Thanksgiving dinner for the FFA and FFA alumni would be better for us and to meet the alumni and get to know what their experience, experiences were and while they were uh, FFA members. Mr. Chairman. Michael. Um, we should do this because um, the alumni, they do a lot for us and they pay for a lot of our things, so we should give back to them and give, like, have, make a Thanksgiving meal for them. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Gavin. Uh, I agree with Michael. We should do this to show them how much we appreciate them. Mr. Chairman. Because our uh, fruit sale has gone through the roof in the past couple days, we would definitely be able to afford this uh, Thanksgiving dinner, and it would also show them that we appreciate them for all the things they do and pay for for us. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Scott, this would be a good idea because this would show the alumni that we do really appreciate what they do, and this would be a good way to get to know all of them. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Chris. Uh, we could show our appreciation for the alumni and thank them. And this would just, if they don't have family to go to well, during Thanksgiving, this would uh, really help them. Just to Mr. Gavin. This would be good because we can talk to the alumni and talk about all their past experiences and that's okay. Mr. Chairman. It would be great because we would get to see who sponsors us and ask about their experiences and even their essays to get some ideas. Mr. Vice President, do you assume the duties of the chair for our discussion over this matter? I will. With this guy, we'll give you all the responsibilities of the chair. Thank you. Jacob. 
Uh, this would be a great idea because uh, we could get to know the alumni better and we could also talk to them about different CDEs that we uh, th are thinking about uh, or doing and talk about our SAE projects with them. Okay, more discussion? Okay, then we'll now proceed to vote. All in favor that our chapter sponsors Thanksgiving dinner for all FFA and FFA alumni members, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? The motion, the motion passes. Is there any business? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Jacob. I move that our chapter pay all the expenses to send one of our school board members to the National FFA Convention. Second. It has been moved by Jacob and seconded by Sean that our chapter pay all expenses to send one of our school board members to the National FFA Convention. Let me remind you, this is debatable, amendable, and required a majority vote. Is there any discussion? Mr. Mr. Chairman. Jacob. This would be a great idea to send one of our uh, board members to the National FFA Convention with us because we could show them that all the different uh, things in uh, FFA and we could also show how much show them how much fun FFA Convention can be. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Michael. Um, I'm going to recess this meeting. Second. It is the move by Michael and second by Sean that we move to recess this meeting. Let me remind you, this is not debatable, amendable by time only, and requires a majority vote. What? Is there any amendments? Okay, none. We'll now proceed to vote. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. Nay. The recess fails. We are now back on the main motion. Mr. Chairman. Sean. Paying the expense for the uh, one of the uh, board members to go to the National FFA Convention would be a waste of time and money because they might get sick and not be able to go, such as last time that we tried to attempt this. Mr. Chairman, Gary, when we go to convention, it is normally when people take their vacations, so they are probably taking their vacations with their families and not with their families. Mr. Chairman. Skyler, since our, some of our fundraisers, like the fruit sale and barbecue sauce sale, has gone through the roof lately, we would be able to afford to send one of the board members. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Michael. Plus, if we send one of these people to our um, to national convention, they know more about FFA and might like it more and maybe have to try to put more effort into making our FFA chapter better. Mr. Chairman. Jacob. Uh, this would uh, be a good idea, even though that we may have to take extra health precautions for some of the older school board members, we could still have them fill out all the required paperwork to, that we have to fill out to go. Mr. Chairman. Matt Gabb. This would be a great idea because we can show all the um, board members one of the board members will be learning that today. Mr. Chairman. Sean. I move to lay this motion on the table. Second. It has been moved by Sean and seconded by Jacob that our, we lay this motion on the table. I remind you this is not debatable, not amendable, and requires a majority vote. All in, all in favor? We will now proceed to vote. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. Nay. This, this motion fails. Call for the division of the House. The division of the House has been called for. Second. All in favor, please stand. Two Madam Secretary. All opposed, please stand. Five Madam Secretary. The lay on the table fails. We are now back on the main motion. Is there any discussion? I call for the previous question. Second. Okay. Previous question has been called for and seconded by Sean. Um, the menu, this is not debatable, not amendable, and requires a two thirds vote. All in favor of. Sean for the previous question, please stand. Two Madam Secretary. All opposed, please stand. Five Madam Secretary. The previous question fails. Mr. Chairman. Jacob. I move to adjourn this meeting. Second. It has been moved by Jacob and second by Sean that we adjourn this meeting. I remind you this is not debatable, not amendable, and requires a majority vote. We will now proceed to vote. All in favor of adjourning this meeting, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? Nay. We, the adjournment passes. Madam Secretary, do you have any further, do you have a record of any further business that should now be transacted? I have none, Mr. Chairman. 
Does any member know of any new or unfinished business session probably come before this meeting? We're about to adjourn this meeting of the Smithville FFA chapter. As we mingle with others, let us be diligent and labored, just in our dealings, courteous to others, and above all, honest and fair in the game of life. Fellow members and guests, please join me in a salute to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.